Wahey! Well, how how is everyone? I said. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> that was the worst. I've ever seen that same that time. I'm yeah, good. Thanks. How is how are you, Scotty? Yeah, good. Thanks. Good man, Benny. Yeah, not too bad. Nice hair. Yeah, yeah. Scar. scar. You good? Scar. Yeah, I'm good. Um, I go by the name of Scarly Wiley Martini now, or maybe oh. that'll be a cocktail that I invent. Uh, at some point. <laughs> very, very, yeah. Very sophisticated. Ben, when did you do your hair? Uh, it's been an ongoing couple of days of, of sculpt torching. It's fe Ooh. feeling good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go orange first. What colours do you go first when you do it? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit of orange. I did a bit of orange. I did the old um, Bart Simpson look for a bit. And then uh, it's, I'm kind of, it's sort of mellowing out a little bit now. But yeah, you know, you got to do something in lockdown, haven't you? Or were you all right? Uh, yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of burnt skull. Yeah. When, um, when, I, when I used to bleach my hair, the hairdresser in my hometown, I could never be bothered to wait, you know, the half an hour or whatever. So they used, oh, to, yeah. they used to put the bleach in, put like a plastic bag over my head. And I literally used to drive home. So if I, I, know, I just always thought if I ever break break down or you know get stopped by the police with a plastic bag over my head, oh, I like that. But yeah, the thing yeah. is, you know, you could avoid getting a burnt scalp when you do the bleaching if you use Dax wax, right? What actually happens, and you keep using it. I love Dax wax as well, by the way. But if you keep using it, it's, you know, you have to use Dax shampoo to get it out. Because if you don't <laughs> use, if you don't use that shampoo. You end up with like a layer of it on your scalp, and then you wouldn't get a burnt scalp. Yeah, it's like a like a built-up like membrane, a, protect, a protective layer of Dax on your head. Bar barrier cream. <laughs> but I love, yeah. I love Dax wax. Dax wax is on you. Tim, Tim, how how have you not had a haircut since this whole lockdown? No, no. Seriously? Nope. Hey, that's a uh, you, you got that well controlled. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is the. Um, you know, that's what happens when you go to Mr. Ducktail, man. That, that's like a four, a four month <laughs> growing period. Yeah, and it keeps on giving. And, and yeah, and the sides are still slick. What can I say? I've done mine about Tight. five times since lockdown myself with a, two mirrors and a pair of clippers. I bet you're really good at it now. Well, I'm getting good at it, yeah. Yeah. The, the guy at my usual barber still hasn't opened, so I don't know what's going on there. Terrible. Anyway, um, right, um, we've got some people joining us. Uh, let's just get these, uh, get these uh, voices for tonight, shall we, Ben? For the acoustic jukebox. Where's what it? are the choices for the jukebox, Benny? Right, do you want to own right. Are they on the screen? They're on the screen. Am I? Yeah. Okay, right, so we've got... Uh, just here, okay, we've got Wonderful World by Sam Cook. Here, wait, hang on. We've got, there we go. All right, that's it. I've got, I've got it. Yeah, so we've got uh, Wonderful World by Sam Cook, uh, Reap the Teat by Jack Wilson, and Benny King, Stand By Me. That's it. So we've got a bit of a soul, soul kind of rocking theme going on. Cool. Wicked. Maybe that's how they feel when they're doing the weather on the telly, you know, because apparently when you're presenting the weather, you can't actually see the, the, the what you, the map. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the one. <laughs> so, you can't see, you can't you can't see the, the atlas behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's probably... Probably put it you're just pointing into thin air, apparently. So it's literally like you know. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing anyway, is, like, sorry, I'm going to stop. I can see it, and I, but I'm still a bit confused because it's the mirror image, so it's actually that way. But when I look at it, it's the opposite. Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, can, can you see Elvis behind me? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's good. Uh, right. Um, should we have a listen to the, to the bass as well? <laughs> Right, here's, here's our bass. Guess, guess the bass line. Guess the bass line. Next season, on, next season, we'll try and get a jingle for this. But well, anyway, everyone, you've got to guess the uh, bass line. Here's three notes. Here we go.
And you know what? Bell. Yeah, where I where I chopped it, it, you can almost get that fourth note, which is a, almost a giveaway. Let's hear it one more time. Oh. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I, th I think I should have just been a bit uh, chopped it a bit, you know, a bit tighter. But anyway. I reckon you should have just played the first note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Re really make it interesting. It is amazing, isn't it? Just that, yeah, one extra note. I think anyway. Uh, so yeah, I guess that. Um, Did you have to learn that one especially, Scott, or was that already in your? Um... That was not in my repertoire. No. <laughs> if it, uh -huh. I think it is. I'd be surprised if it was in your repertoire, man. Yeah, that that that's an air of confidence, and you know what the song it is. I do know what song. I must know that. It must be what I think it is. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Um, I don't know a clue. A clue if it's the one that I think it might be. Would be if Why I played dub -ta, dub -ta, all the way through, it probably wouldn't work. I don't know what you're about. <laughs> 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 um, it'd be funny if you're completely wrong. Uh, I think I'd like to. Right, um, Tim, your joke. So, what are we doing today, this week? Well, I thought as it's the last episode of season one. No, nah, no. Nah. In fact, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really got a joke to be honest. But I was chatting to someone the other day, telling them about when we were at the uh, at the airport on the way to a gig. <laughs> I can't be the same. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and we walked through the airport, and we got to a certain area, and we all started jumping about, going. <laughs> The lady came over, she said, no, it's the check-in desk. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> Tim, dad jokes, in the back of the van. Tim, dad jokes, in the back of the van. Yeah. Absolutely 100% stolen off of Tim Vine and not delivered nearly as well. <laughs> but, you know, Mate. that is a thinker, that one. That was it's terrible. <laughs> the check in desk. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, we got to a certain area. I was like, where is he going with this? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, someone's at, someone has guessed the correct base. No, a couple of people have correct, uh, guessed it, yeah. Cool. We'll be hearing that later. Um, yeah, so Tim just mentioned then everyone listening, uh, watching even. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a break. So this will be, epi this is episode 10. So we're going to call this series one. So yeah, thanks for joining us each week. And uh, Yeah, it's been great, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah cheers, the next season, we should be able to do this together. Yeah. Well, that'd be super cool and also um basically we're going to get back to obviously uh recording so tim's going to come over next week going to do some recording we've already done a bit of recording with scarlet and mm -hmm. so uh yeah obviously scarlet and ben are from bristol uh, you know, as well but yeah tim's coming over next week so yeah look out for some new releases as well gonna... yeah no there's some there's some super cool tracks on the way so Cool. Yeah. Uh, Keep an ear to the ground. Mm -hmm. Right then, Scarlett, should we uh, see your video? Yeah. I haven't seen it at all. Um, Do you want to Yeah, it's kind of similar to last week, but um, yeah, yeah. See what see what you make of it. How to be the ultimate diva. <laughs> there we go. Scarlett's gonna show you how it's Scarlett's guide to. Hello everyone, welcome back to the final episode of this series. This one is how to be the ultimate diva. Not too dissimilar from a quarren queen, but we can take the divahood into the real world when things return slightly to normal. I would say, from my personal experience, the first rule of being a diva 
is to overdress for every occasion. I am in a dress at the moment and really all I have planned today is to go to the shop and I'm going to go dress like this. So yes, I'm going to be going to my local shop looking like this. Overdressing for every occasion comes a little bit into play with the second rule that I have which is to express yourself fully through your image. Now, I like to think that I'm a bit of a colourful character, if I'm in the right mood, of course. Um, and a lot of my clothes are super colourful. I showed you some of them um, last week, but I mean, you know, it's all very fucking colourful. And what's interesting is when you're a diva, you have a bit of a reputation for being a certain type of character, let's say. So Dita Von T is very much known for her 40s 1950s glamour look and the burlesque scene um and so it's important for you to have something in your style that people recognize you need to find that one thing that people are like oh that reminds me of them and then you're like ha huh, i'm stuck in their minds forever until they're old enough to get alzheimer's and even then i might still stick in their minds next rule is a pretty important one you have to be prepared for compliments people will compliment you and you cannot respond to a compliment with oh fuck no i'm gross but when they compliment you you simply must accept it it only has to be a simple oh thanks you look amazing too or oh thank you yeah i'm i'm trying my best <laughs> don't say that next rule on the important divahood list is if someone is rude absolutely stick up for yourself put them in their place and don't be afraid to do so put a pair of sunglasses on for this last uh chapter of how to be a diva for absolutely no reason at all i just felt like switching things up a bit here comes the final rule be your authentic self if you feel the need to express yourself through art dance music fucking maths algebra uh biology anything quite literally anything as long as it's not horrible violent or whatever um fucking do it and be unapologetic about it just fucking be yourself that's it you know and it doesn't matter if you're a bloke or a woman being a diva or at least channeling diva energy from time to time is important Scarlet gonna show you how it's Scarlet Guy too. Oh, oh <laughs> The best. That was amazing. Absolute show stealer, mate. Yeah, so that good. was. That's, that's the best video. Yeah. Oh, really? Because I, I honestly didn't really like it that much. I was like, no way is this as good as last week. But, um, uh, no, no I didn't that was the best. Superb. Yeah. That's, good. Good. <laughs> that's probably they're probably all in the sort of Hawkmen book of rules, aren't they? Isn't that like? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it kind of applied to like all of us because like each of us has like a kind of unique style that we don't really change from. Um, so yeah, I thought we're all divas, is what we are. <laughs> when I finished the audition for the Hawkmen, that was you know Scott went through a list of questions, you know. <laughs> 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 Do you always do your hair like that? Every day. Yeah, yeah right, you're in. Can you drum? Yeah. <laughs> that was the last question. Less importantly. <laughs> yeah. I'm a kid. Right. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, got quite a few people joining us and had a few great comments and one question uh, from. Yeah, Scott, we, may, we should answer some questions tonight, actually. Well, here, here, we've got one here, like, uh, from Mark, which is, I'm going to put it on screen, uh, outside gigs can happen from next week and any plans, guys? I would well, love we, to get love to form. Yeah, I mean, this we were, we were chatting about this, actually. And, I mean, the problem is it's only, the news has only just happened, so nearly all the festivals this year have all uh, just basically... Uh, reorganised for next year and we're pretty much all the festivals that we're going to do this year they've just booked us again for next year so I think it's probably like a bit late in the day for festivals to suddenly you know you know 
uh, start happening again this year. But obviously, you know, if the offers come up, we'll be there playing outside. It's also, I guess, they're still doing the social distancing thing as well, aren't they, at the moment? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that's going to work with them now. So it'd be a sit, it'd probably, I imagine, be a sit down gig, wouldn't it? Oh, God, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, rest assured, as soon as we can gig, we'll be out there gigging. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll be recording. So, um, yeah, hope to see you all soon. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, right. Yeah, uh, hi to everyone for joining us. Hi, everyone. Yeah, sorry. Who's jo- who's joining this? Talking. Let's have some names, Scott. You froze then. I couldn't hear anything said. Oh, really? <laughs> um, we have um, Sasha, Sue Edgar. Hey. Hi, Sue. Uh, Jenny, Hello. Jenny, Sally, Janine, Mark, Matthew, Brian. Hello. Uh, Scott from the US, the pinstriper. <laughs> Hi again. Um, Loads and loads. Dave Smith. Hi, Dave. Uh, Mark Fisher. Lots of people. Sarah. Um, yeah. Uh, Alistair says, come to Abingdon. That's not far from where I live. Yeah. Uh, my mum lives very close as well, by the way. Uh, right, anyway. Yep. Um, is it my video time? It is my video time. We see how. See, yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what's going on on the Zephyr. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's play this. My big truck. My big truck. Hey, super side week has uh, finally put everything back together, tightened up all the front balance, put the bumper back on, and put the car back on the ground so we can uh, just give it a little test, make sure they. Um, Brakes aren't seized up or anything like that, and just see if we can fire it up to start with as well. Here we go. Okay, let's see if she starts up. First, she's got to heat up the glow plugs. Should do it. So there we are, it's series one on Hawkman TV and the Zephyr is running and rolling. Yeah, excited about that, that's been great, uh, but still plenty to do. So uh, yeah, join me next uh, season, hopefully in a, a couple of months time. Um, and I'll get the fan back on the radiator, install the bench seat, uh, have a look at the tailgate, see if we can get that operating. Still plenty to do on the Zephyr and uh, hopefully you'll see it rolling up and down the road rather than just in the garage. Okay, cheers guys, bye. My pickup truck, my pickup truck. Woo! Yeah, nice. Zephyr is rolling. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Back on the ground, man. It's been like on sort of axle stands for, yeah, well, since we started this. So, yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, but at the moment. Does that, mean, does, does that mean when I come down next week, we can take it for a spin? Yeah, the only problem is at the moment, because you know I've been d- building a new garage and doing loads of work in the garden, there's actually a massive mound of kind of concrete and uh, debris oh, right, no. right in front of the garage uh, door. So, yeah. No, Zephyr. You literally <laughs> can't even get it out. But, yeah, anyway, soon. Um, cool. Um, but let's, right, Ben, we need to. We had a load of votes to start with, but uh, we need to get your uh, choices for the songs back up. So, we have. Uh, A, Sam Cooke, Wonderful World B, Jackie Wilson, Reet Petit 
and C, Benny King, Stand By Me. Uh, so yeah, people get your votes in. And uh, we, we've been getting lots of offers, guys, for to go to people's back gardens and oh, various... If they're going to pay us, let's do it. I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say that again? Scott, you are stealing it tonight. What, was she being a diva again? Sorry, but that's the truth. I missed that. Uh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, fucking, what do you expect? We're all skinned. <laughs> Give us some fucking money and we'll perform for you all night long. <laughs> the, the diva gets my vote. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alternatively, uh, you can just play with Scarlet and Vespresso Martinis. You should go and sing anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yes. you know, you can a few cocktails and I'll be there. <laughs> um, right, got loads of folks. So I'm going to have to have a count up uh, during the uh, the music video. But um, should we hear the quick the bass as well? Yeah, guess the bass line. Here, here we go. Here's the bass. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Right, so do that. Right, guys, uh, guess the best baseline on and vote for the uh, Ben's acoustic jukebox. Um, and I'll have a count up while you watch this music video. Oh, by the way, the reason we're playing this is because it's just hit 200,000 views on YouTube. That is, it, that's quite a lot, isn't it? That's pretty good. Uh, you know, that's all organic and. Um, and there's some just amazing comments on there. You know, if you ever want a little pick me up, I can have a look at the comments. Yeah, some great stuff in there. Too. Yeah, I do that from time to time. <laughs> That's another yeah, <laughs> got to boost the old ego every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, um, right. Here's the music video. Soulful dress. Two hundred thousand views. Thanks everyone for watching. Here you go.
Yay! Woo! Good stuff. <laughs> Good time. Great video, that. Yeah. Yeah, it was great fun filming it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Um, yeah, um, with all the dancers that come along to the videos, uh, it's always really cool. The go gets um, superb as always in there. Absolutely. Um, and Chris, Chris, the film smith. Chris, yeah, top beans up. Uh, Brilliant. Right. So, um, I have been having a count up then. Um, do we, should we do this baseline first, shall we? Because I think it's way too easy this week, and a lot of people have guessed it. So this was the short version. Um, Is it? <laughs> am I allowed to guess? Uh... Yeah, go on then, because otherwise, if I play it and then you guess, then yeah, well, it doesn't count. Is it what? Money by Pink Floyd? Oh, what are you saying, Ben? Yeah, same. Oh, here we go. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty easy this week. Uh, I bet you've yeah. gigged that a few times, haven't you, Scott? Hey, what? What's that? Have you gigged that a few times? Gigged it? Yeah. I'm joking. It's not in 4-4 four, four time. <laughs> 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 Do you know, just on that subject, I heard the best story ever. My mate told me he knew, he knew a drummer. He was coming on a bit, you know, improving those, and he started learning all these new beats. And he sits down at his drum kit and he said, I've got a new beat, it's in seven. And he got got his sticks out and he went like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> My mate was showing eight in the gap at the end and he just didn't get it. He was going, what do you mean? He thought, well, it's not in seven, is it? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. <laughs> it's a good story, man. <laughs> oh, God. We're what a geek. Sorry. Yeah, right. we've gone right muso for a second. Uh, right, Ben, your choices. And the winner, but it was so it was really close between A and B. Oh, really? It was very close, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. um, and the winner is B, Jackie Wilson. Oh, yes, that's what I hoped oh. we would have. That was my fate, to be honest. Uh, do you want to hear your, um, should we get you an intro? Here we go. There's a acoustic jukebox. That is acoustic jukebox. But, 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 that is acoustic jukebox. That is acoustic jukebox. Take it away. I'm having some freezing issues, I think, by end, so hopefully I won't cut out. Here we go. You're not, you're not frozen here, mate. You're all right. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do my best. Here we go. Well, look about, look about, look about, look about, ooh, we look about, look about, look about, ooh, we ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, we. Well, she's so fine, fine, fine. She's so fine, ba 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 fine. She's so fine, ay 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 She's so fine. The finest girl you ever want to meet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. The finest girl you ever want to meet. Well, have you ever seen a girl from who saw you give? Who you fight for, die for, pray to God to live. But she's so fine. She's so fine. She's a really sweet, the finest girl you ever want to meet. Well, she really feels the clothes from her head to toe. I want the world to know. I love her, love her, so she's all right. She's all right. She's all right. She pulls to me, pulls the day and night. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. 
the finest girl you ever want to meet. I love her, need her. She means so much to me. She's so fine. She's got what it takes. She's got what it takes. So yeah, for me, she really raves. Well, well, this is my duty. My duty, fruity, my heart, my love. My faith and beauty. She's alright. She's got just what it takes. She's got what it takes. And yeah, for me, she can really raise. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. The finest girl you ever want to meet. The finest girl you ever want to meet. The finest girl you ever want to be. Cheers, me dears. Nice one. Oh, there's a acoustic jukebox. That is acoustic jukebox. Boop, 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 there's a acoustic jukebox. That is acoustic jukebox. Nice one. Yeah. Ben, Benny, you're, um, you've still got some. Um, stuff on your band camp haven't you yeah yeah totally we've got the um the covers eps that i was doing sort of midway through lockdown um they're all you know on a most of them i think are on a pay what you want thing but um yeah it's just a uh, bandcamp dot uh, how does it work benny j hayes dot bandcamp one of those i've put it on the screen uh, so there you go everyone check oh out. cool yeah we're good hey, check them out loads of stuff on there this one Oh, great! Right? Yeah, it's great, fantastic. Um, oh, thanks, guys. Got some great messages coming through. Um, those people joining us, yeah, too many people. But anyway, love to see yeah. you all. Um, fantastic. Uh, right, that's about wraps us up, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. End of a series, guys. It's been a pleasure. What are we going to do on Thursday night now? Uh, some music, hopefully, recording. Yeah, actual yeah. band stuff. Actual band stuff. Yeah. I think it's kind of good timing because, like, you know, uh, yeah, we are sort of able to meet up now, aren't we, and all that sort of stuff and get on with things. Yeah, yeah. Drips and drabs, yeah. There'll be either, there'll be more series or some feature lengths, hopefully, Scott, I'm thinking, you know. Yeah, we'll get some guests. Yeah. We can have some guests and uh, we can do stuff together. Uh, maybe yeah. we can have rehearsal and then we can do some live uh, stuff at rehearsals, stuff like that. Be cool. That'd be cool, man. So, yeah, keep your, keep your eyes open, guys, for Series 2. Thanks, everyone, for coming on and partying with us on a Thursday. Yeah. In the last 10 weeks, it's been great. Yeah. But, um, Very cool. Cheers for tuning in week after week as well. Yeah, thanks for your support. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, yes. thank you. Right. See you next time. Take it easy. Yes. God bless. Peace and love. Yes.